Good day everyone and welcome back to our channel. This is Jagan and Hosanna here with a new vlog. Today I was uh, just glancing through the news and uh, it accidentally glanced on a new uh, news that has been spread on the internet stating that if you're not linking your pan card with the Aadhaar, your pan card is gonna be not valid. So as you know, pan card or permanent account number is actually a 10 digit alphanumeric number which has been issued by the income tax office uh, or income tax department of India. And this is actually necessary for uh, all the financial transactions and exclusively uh, very much essential if you are planning for an investment or if you wanted to do an investment to do a bank transaction, especially if you wanted to transact an uh, amount more than 50,000 this is a must this is also being issued to some of the foreigners who have got a valid uh, visa the actual significance of the pan card lies here so if you wanted to file a tax return pan coding the pan number is very much essential if you wanted to buy a property or sell a property coding your pan number is very much essential if you wanted to invest the money or transact the money or if you wanted to buy a foreign money or exchange money coding the pan number is where all is very much essential now the new rule states that uh, the pan card must be linked with your Aadhaar card if you are an Indian. So what does that mean? Uh, the rules exactly says that you must have to link uh, your PAN card with your other card before September 30th or otherwise your PAN card will be invalid. So this invalidity is also defined as inoperative. So according to the government terms, what they define inoperative means that we will not be able to use the PAN number for uh, any transactions or PAN enabled services. However, the government is exact, has exactly not defined what it means by inoperative. So the proposed plan that is to make the PAN card inoperative from October 1st if you haven't linked the PAN card with your other card. The government is yet to confirm whether we can revalidate or reactivate and how long is the rules going to be effective. So there are a lot of hype regarding the inactive uh, status of the pen card. There, there are actually a lot of uh, hypes around this news. Some, state, some of the experts actually say that uh, there is no clear cut explanation from the government side how long this is going to be effective or if there is any um, steps that we can reactivate our pan card in case if we miss this deadline and it also means that uh, sometimes we will not be able to do an uh, transactions where the pan number is essential or else need to be coded if you have already registered user as income tax uh, e-filing website uh, all done. If you can check your other is already linked to your PAN by visiting the income tax office website You can log into the website using a PAN user ID password and a date of birth Once you're logged in your account should open and the profile setting should be displayed and the options should be displayed like a link other card and the interface should uh, should be looking like this so this screen will show you the pan card is already linked to other number with a number display in case if your pan card is not linked with the other then a form should be appearing and you the required details can be entered manually by you and once submitted the success message will be displayed for non registered users just click the link other on the e filing website and a new form will appear where you are required to enter the details pan other card number as per your other and the interface should be looking uh, like this when you enter the details and wait for the website to complete your details and if your other card has all has only the year of birth then you must also click the option I have only year of birth uh, in other card and follow the uh, website uh, instructions to enter the details and the interface should actually look like this to enter your um, details 
and there are some other methods as well uh, the number one is by sending an SMS to pan service providers so Central Board of Direct Taxes CBDTT is notification data 29 2017 has provided other methods to link you can also link your pan and other card by sending a simple SMS and this SMS in a specific format using a keyword at either 567676 or 56161 and the format is displayed here which you can follow it up and NSTL and UTA won't charge for this but uh, the mobile operator will be charging for your SMS you can also manually link the form by uh, an extra one filling up at the center or the, I mean the service center of PAN service provider like NSTL or UT IITSL. You will be required to fill the form in extra one along with supporting documents. It's a copy of PAN and other card. For any corrections in the PAN details, you will be charged rupees 110. On the other hand, for correcting other details, you will have a prescribed fee that you need to pay. That's rupees 25. Biometric authentication is compulsory in case there is a mismatch in details of a PAN and other card. There are also some points that you need to keep in mind while uh, filling this uh, application. If using online methods on other OTP will be generated in case your name does not match that on a PAN card whereas your date of birth and gender match. The OTP will be sent to the mobile number registered or linked to the other number entered online. You will have to enter that OTP online to continue and complete the process. It is advisable that in case there is mismatch, correct it. So that's the end of the video. I hope this vlog was quite informative for the people who haven't uh, linked their PAN card with their other card and I hope those guys might have understood the implications of the linking. If you like the videos, uh, don't forget to check out my previous videos as well that are also quite informative. And also don't forget to subscribe, share and also comment at the link below. I've been sharing the links below so that those who are following this video can also access the website to do the linking process and uh, have a good day thanks for watching